Hello, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm doing a, another Christmas page, and I think this one is my new favorite. I just love this page. Um, looking forward to sharing it with you. It's um, the papers I've chosen. These are the photos. These are Christmas morning, the kids opening gifts or in their stockings. So, um, that's what I'm using for photos right now. I chose this paper for a background. It's um, from, um, here it is, Cartabella Farmhouse Christmas. And this polka dot paper is Simple Stories, Making Spirits Bright, Say Cheese Christmas. So these line up perfectly at the bottom. And I've added already a holly border on this because I am going to be using, I'm gonna turn this around. I want more white so the holly shows. I'm using this as a border. I thought they, I'm going to put this here. They aren't quite even. I'll have to trim that later. <clears throat> okay. So, I'm using this <clears throat> paper as a background frame for my photos. And so, because I used that paper there, on this side, I used it for a frame. So, I'm going to use that on this page here. <clears throat> so these photos, this one, the larger one, is going into here. It is a 5x7, but I trimmed it down. I often use 5x7s and two 4x6s on a double page spread. If I like a picture, I blow it up. And I scrap the bigger versions. <clears throat> okay. So these are just going to be close together. I love this paper, so I want the polka dots to show. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I'm just going to place those like that. Now, I found in Anna Griffin her um, Christmas cards and embellishments too. Uh, cartridge in Cricut Access. This beautiful holly border. I love it. So I'm going to put that at the bottom of this frame and it just looks like it's a part of the frame. I also found in that same cartridge almost all the images for this page. I'm, I'm doing this holly and ribbon up here. It's like a bow on the presents. And this title, Merry Christmas. I love that. So, um, but my favorite image of all is this stocking. It is 10 layers deep. It's about a quarter of an inch. <laughs> um, with the snowflakes, it's 10 layers. I love it. It's from Miss Kate Cuttable's Christmas Magic in uh, Cricut Design Space. And I that stocking is going right there. I'm just loving this. Now, this holly is from the Anna Griffin the same cartridge as the others, and I'm just going to tuck that behind. Um, and I absolutely love this, but I, I want you to know I embossed the top of the uh, stocking, the charcoal gray, in this beautiful snowflake um, uh, embossing folder. So it, it has even more texture, not only the depth and all the stripes, so that's great. Then I decided it still needs some more. So I made a, a tag. I'm using these tags on almost every page now since I got this Creative Memories Tag Punch. It's a three-in-one tag punch. And I put a two-and-a-half-inch piece of stripe of paper in there, punched it, and now I have a tag. And you can cut it to any length you want, but I'm putting it right here. I just love that. So, um, I also found this. And I decided that I love, this is perfect colors for this page. 
So I love this. This was in my stash. I'm just going to put this ticket because she's with presents coming from that title somewhere. It's lifted up on a thing like that. And there's something else I'm going to use. I found in Creative Memories stash <clears throat> that I have Christmas Spirit Collection. It has some images that I'm going to use here to, to embellish this page. I decided that I love this fella on the nice list. He's going to go here when I glue that down. And <clears throat> I couldn't decide which of these to use, but I, I ended up, I settled on this Santa because it is Christmas morning, Santa came, and I'm going to put Santa on there. So I think that's really cute. Now, I um, I don't think this page needs... Oh, yes, yes, it does. I decided it was a little bare up there. So I found this in my stash. <clears throat> and I'm going to use this red stripe. I'm going to put it behind on here. I have to look, get this out of the way. There. I just thought it needed a little something up there. It was just a little drab. So maybe bright. Now, I just love this stocking. It's made this page my new favorite. I hope you enjoy this page and you can find a design space link for it below and a link to my website where all of my pages have design space links that you can copy. So um, I also have two Facebook groups you can join. So um, I'd be happy to have you in the group and posting your pages. Thanks for watching.